part two of the Moto X Pure Edition versus the Nexus 6P. Uh, for part two, I wanted to talk about the display and the performance of both of these phones, uh, kind of give you guys an idea of uh, how an IPS LCD display uh, goes up against an AMOLED display. Um, you know, take a look at some pictures, see what you guys think of it, and uh, um, maybe come to some sort of conclusion on um, what makes uh, these devices different as far as display goes. So, uh, you know, I don't really have much else of an intro, so I just want to kind of get down to, to the specs really quick. So both of these phones, they both have 5.7 inch displays. Um, both of them show a resolution of 1440p, that's uh, 2560 by 1440 pixels. Um, the main difference though between the two, like I said earlier, is that the Moto X Pure Edition uh, uses an IPS LCD display and the Nexus 6P uses an AMOLED display. Now, uh, what I like about both of these displays um, is that Motorola and, and Google, or Huawei in this case, offer an option to set the color to a more um, quote unquote natural display. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So, in um, and you're going to have to kind of Bear with me here because I'm um, at an angle. So uh, the the right now both of these displays are on a more um, natural, uh, more accurate display. Um, both of these phones actually default to a, a more saturated display. But just to give you an idea of how to um, go into the settings for this, what you need to do is, well, you would just need to go into your settings first of all. Uh, for the Moto X, it's different for both phones. So for the Moto X Pure Edition, you go into your settings, you go into your display. In here, there's an option ca called um, color mode. So you hit uh, color mode and you'll see right now it's on normal. And so it says here normal shows, uh, it displays realistic color while vibrant displays enhanced color and saturation. So if I were to pick this, um, I don't know if you could tell the the color or you know the color of the flower up here kind of changed right away uh, and I don't know how it's actually going to look on the camera but um, when you do pick a vibrant display uh, what happens is the colors pop out more so reds are redder and it's just I guess it's brighter and I, that's maybe the best way to put it I'm really it's 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 a more saturated display. Uh, normal mode kind of gives a more realistic natural tone to uh, your pictures and, and everything like that. So uh, for the Moto X Pure Edition it's really easy. You just go into your settings, into display, and then you go into color mode and you pick normal or vibrant. Um, for the Nexus 6P though it's a little different. So how it works on the on the 6P is you, you don't go into settings here. The way to achieve it is you have to go to developer options. Well, I, I guess you would go into settings first. So in settings, you would go all the way down and you would pick developer options. And then in developer options, there is a picture color mode and it says use, RS, use sRGB and sRGB would give you a more accurate display. Now for the Nexus 6P, it, it is, it's, pretty hidden. Uh, it, you, you can't find it. You can't just go to settings display. Um, first of all, developer options is a, a hidden um, feature. So uh, the first thing you, you need to do is to unlock developer options and then inside it you can use sRGB. And so if you were to turn, if you were to turn off sRGB, then um, the colors, they pop out more. It's the more saturated uh, display, like I said earlier. But to do that again, you go into settings, developer options, and then to turn on the more accurate display, you go to picture color mode and use sRGB, and then you would get the more accurate, uh, more realistic display. Um, again, hopefully this kind of shows okay on the camera. I know I'm like noticing that the, <laughs> the lamp is right above me, but um, this is the best way I can get some light in here. So um, anyway, moving on. Um, you know, I've had experience with uh, both of this, both of these displays in the past. But um, as someone, you know, who who doesn't typically have, I guess, quote unquote, an eye, you know, for these things, I've I've really never noticed much of a difference. For me, um, you know, when I use a phone, and and I I would assume it's for a lot of um, you know everyday people. Like when you're looking at your dis when you're looking at your display, it's not something that 
um, you're you're looking for. You, you're not looking to see if, if the colors are really oversaturated. Uh, I'm sure if colors were off, then you would notice a difference. But for the most part, I think for most people, it's not something that uh, they notice right away. Um, sorry, guys, I'm trying to uh, turn the sleep um, display longer for my Moto X so it doesn't keep turning off. There you go. Uh, and so, um, you know, I guess when you don't have both of these devices side by side and, and you're not testing these things out, you, you really don't think about it. And and so with that said, uh, I've downloaded two apps to kind of just go over the colors. I, I was trying to play around with it earlier, so you, you'll see what I mean. Um, and uh, so you can take a look and you can see for yourself like what I'm talking about. And um, you know, I guess I'll chime in as, as well as I go through the pictures. So this first app um, I actually downloaded, it was called Display Tester. And it was really quick, I was just looking for something. And um, so when you first go in it, it kind of gives you info on the display itself. And then there's something here called Display Quality. And I'll put it for both. Again, sorry guys, I have to like stretch over because the tripod is kind of in the way. And anyway, there's a part here that's called Real World Photos. And so when you click that, it I guess it defaults the brightness to 50%. Um, but I want to kind of put both of these together. I wish I could hold these up better. So, okay, that's not going to work. It, let me just um, adjust the camera. And I think that would be easier then. So let me put this down. And I really don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, but... Um, I will try to go over these things, or at least from what I can see. So uh, the first picture here, um, to me, both of them look pretty much the same. Um, for the next one, I guess they, they go through different color tones. Uh, you know, it's, it's actually when I was trying to look at them earlier, I, I had a better view. Um, or I guess I had a better perspective, but for now, it, you know, they look fairly similar. I, so now I did notice though with the green colors, and again, I don't know if the camera, um, if it's the lamp that's doing it. Actually, let me try to move this lamp out of the way, just so it's not like the brightness isn't right on that light. So hold on guys. And honestly, it's not coming up as as I'm seeing. Like when I look at it in the camera, it might it might come up different. But um, just to kind of go over from what I see on my end, um, again, it's gonna look different, I think, on this camera compared to what I see in real life. But on the six P, the colors look actually they look better on the six P than on the Moto X. The Moto X colors actually are um, a bit washed out, uh, like brighter, and and I know that probably doesn't show there. So maybe I might even have to just take screenshots and and do side by side. But I guess we'll see how it comes out on the camera. Uh, the next one here, again, um, these look both of them at least to me they they look really good. Uh, I can't really like pick anything out of the two. And then I did notice though with blue with the ocean here, and again it might look different on camera, but um, from my eyes looking at the phone itself on the 6P, the blues come out better. Uh, on the Moto X, it's actually a lot lighter, and it kind of like washes the picture out, especially kind of up here. Uh, and actually, the same thing goes with um, the nighttime picture. So. On here on the Moto X it does look more washed out than it does on the 6P and I really wish that it would come out better um, on camera but I understand it's probably not going to be exact uh, and this is for like a lighter color um, you know honestly the, the whites look better here on the Moto X Pure Edition um, and on the Moto X here like the sun up here kind of seems to kind of, it, 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 I guess that's the best way to put it. It kind of washes out some of the picture. And, and that's what I noticed here on the Moto X. Um,
they kind of look both the same to me. Um, I suppose the greens at the bottom here look a little more lighter than on the Nexus 6P. And then um, for orange, see, uh, actually, I don't know, on the Moto X, the, the colors look brighter or more vivid, so it kind of looks better on that end. So, and I think those are it for that. So, actually, let me go back to the home screen on both. And there is another test here called screen test. And actually, you can kind of tell, I can even see it on the camera. Um, and that was, you know what, as somebody that doesn't really compare IPS and AMOLED, I, you know, people always talk about the blacks are blacker and like, it's not something I really thought about, but when you look at both of these, like head on, I mean, it's obvious that the 6P has much better blacks than, um, the Moto X does. And like I said earlier, um, compared to other pictures I was looking at too, a lot of pictures seemed, um, brighter on the Moto X or washed out. And again, that's not something that I would notice initially, you know, if I just had the phone and I didn't have another phone next to me, but when I'm looking at both of these, I, I can, you know, you can totally tell. So, um, this kind of just gives you like pure colors. Um, and I'm trying to see, like I'm looking at the camera and then I'm looking at the phones and um, like on the camera, it looks like the whites here are kind of yellowed out, but I'm not sure if that's really the case. Um, and then again, with blacks, you can tell that that is not like, it's something I really never noticed before, but like that is a deep, like that's darkness black. Like that's, it looks like the screen is off pretty much. Um, reds, I'm trying to see how it comes up. You know, the red on the Moto X actually looks a lot deeper than the one on the Nexus 6P. This is, it's still red, but it kind of looks maybe oranged out. Um, greens. And it looks really weird on, on the camera as, as opposed to uh, the, um, the actual phones. Um, because on the camera, the, the Nexus 6P looks like the green is really washed out, but I don't think it is. Uh, in real life, they, they look comparably the same. Again, I, I don't have a trained eye for that, so it's, it's kind of hard for me to, to really give a better diagnosis like, or a better accurate description. Um, I think we're back to, um, so other kind of testing modes and like with this one, so on the Moto X, I can only like, you can kind of pick out the white and the gray, but on the Nexus 6P, there's like hints of, and it looks like it's green on the right and left triangles here. And, and on the Moto X, it looks like it doesn't really show it as pronounced on the Nexus 6P. Again, you, you can immediately tell the blacks are just much darker on the 6P. And you can even tell here as, as the gradient um, colors go at the very bottom, it's just very, it's a lot darker than it is um, on the Moto X. And you know, like, as far as these colors go, I don't really, I'm not an expert, so I really don't know what to look for. Maybe you guys would, and you guys can tell something that I can. And if you do, I'll leave a comment below so we can kind of discuss that. And I guess that's it. Uh, again, um, this is what I'm getting out of the display. You know, in real world situations, I, I don't notice a lot of difference. Um, until I put a phone right up against each other. But um, as far as display goes, when I was looking at real life pictures and going through these modes, it the 6P looks like it actually has a better display. Um, I did notice the Moto X seems to have a brighter display. Um, and actually, you know what, I might
Anyway guys, uh, let me know what you guys think about the display. If there's one that you like better than the other. If you can tell anything through the camera and uh, we'll go from there.